so much. Thank you. You're married! You did it, man. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. I am so proud of you, son. Thanks, Pop. Ma, you gotta stop crying. Come on. Sorry. I'm so happy to see you. So happy. Thank you for making him so happy. Nicole Forrester. Oh. Welcome to the family, officially. You've been so good to us, Eric, and this whole day just is better than I ever could have imagined, so thank you. Quinn and I wouldn't have had it any other way. Mm. You're all such good family and friends. Thank you for being here. Carter, always a pro, man. <laughs> Couldn't be happier for you two. It's about damn time. <laughs> we are thrilled for you. Brooke and I wish you the best. Oh, I'm sorry yeah. that she couldn't make it. Yeah. Yep, it's nice of her to make sure we don't get sick before our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have a toast. All right. Hair, hair. <laughs> to Nicole and Zende. To love and laughter and happily ever after. I still can't believe our baby girl is married. Our little girl. <laughs> Almost as pretty as you were on our wedding night. Oh, well, aren't you the sweet talker? He sure is, but I'm not mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> Those caterers seem to be slacking off, Charlie. Right? Oh, can I get anyone anything? Oh, maybe a little more champagne, oh. but I can get it myself. That's all right. <laughs> I will join you on oh. that one. Uh, okay, don't get jealous, Julius. Hey. Hey. Well, why don't you join me? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, careful oh. there. I can't believe you did this for me. You like it? Are you kidding? It's incredible. How'd you make it happen? Well, I wanted my wife's picture up there for our wedding. And uh, I talked to Granddad, Granddad, about it, and they told me it was okay. It was Quinn who gave her blessing. Well, it's just for one day. And honestly, it's kind of nice not seeing myself every time I turn around. You were okay with it? Of course. It's Nicole's big day. Wow. I'm surprised. Well, I'm full of surprises. I cannot believe you talked me into this. Graham, stop worrying, okay? No one is onto us. We look just like all the real caterers. Except we are crashing the Forrester wedding. We're gonna be the only two let out in handcuffs. Oh, and would you take a gander at my cake? It hardly looks like a wedding cake. It's fine. It serves its purpose. Here, grab a bottle. We need to look useful. Do they have any of those little pigs in a blanket? No. Oh. Feelings on this place. It must be Italian marble. And the ceremony is really sweet. They're not as uppity as I thought. Who? The foresters. Oh, please. They seem to really rally together and support each other. I've never seen anything like it. Look. I don't know about y'all, but uh, it's time to start dancing. Oh, oh sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, even when you were little, it was your favorite thing to do, always dancing. We yeah. could never get this kid to stop. No, <laughs> you still can't. Sunday took me to my first concert in LA. That's right. Aww. Yep, you had me twirling up and down the aisles. I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Since the first time I laid eyes on this girl, I knew she was the one. Come here. Wow, smooth. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, Thomas. Yeah. It's crazy I didn't even see you there. You know, Sally Spectra, talented designer and caterer extraordinaire. Well, you know, yeah, every mm. now and then got to make a little extra dough, you know, still trying to get the business off the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's crazy. 
of all the weddings in LA. You pick my cousins. Wild, huh? It's weird, right? It reminds me actually of my dad and Brooke all these years ago. My grandparents, they had a party in here. And uh, Brooke was catering. My dad and Brooke lock eyes in this very room. And well, the rest is history. Sounds romantic. The only difference is, is uh, you're not a caterer. I'm not. You're imitating one, which is what spectras do best, imitate things. I, man, I cannot get over the fact of how good you look in this outfit. Well, you don't look so bad yourself, Mr. Forrester. joins the family. You Forrester guys are pretty lucky. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. <laughs> so sweet the way Sunday dotes on her. Yeah. It wasn't an easy road getting here, but all this perseverance paid off. Look at him. He's yeah. married to the woman he loves. And all your hard work and perseverance is paying off. Soon we'll be husband and wife. this cake we have two wedding cakes now well I made this one I don't know about that one it's a little hoity-toity for me you made this cake yourself I sure did it's gonna be the best cake you ever tasted interesting <laughs> because I made this cake it's a Meyer lemon cake and it's gonna be the finest cake that you never tasted because I'm beginning to get a very strange feeling from you. From what? You work for one of those Hollywood rag magazines. <laughs> Am I right? Honey, I wouldn't even buy that trash, let alone work for them. Look, I've got weenies to deliver, so if you'd just step aside. <laughs> Don't worry, it's the Apple stuff. I didn't say anything. Oh, but I can read your mind. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What am I thinking right now? How you can't wait to marry Mom. You're always right. I know I am. Take a look over there. I swear, she's undercover press. I, I, I don't see it, honey. She made the wedding cake uh, n no, 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 you, you, you made the wedding cake. No, not that one, Charlie. The other one, the sad, pathetic-looking one. And it was a chocolate cake, Charlie. I mean, who makes a chocolate wedding cake? Chocolate? I just, I don't want this to be ruined for Sunday and Nicole. Yeah. Charlie, please, just go over there and tell her to pick up her cake and yeah, yeah. hit the road. Right, right, so, so she, she says hers is the best cake ever? Well, yeah. I mean, can you believe that? Well... We'll just see about that. We'll take a slice of your cake and a slice of her cake. We'll put them next to each other. What, I'll be Charlie, the judge. I'll be the judge. about the desserts. Look, I just, I, I just want to know if these two are legit. Maybe, like, Ivy's family there will maybe host them together. Host you guys, maybe? Oh, that's interesting. Come on, come on. Okay. I've been trying to tell you, you cannot be here. I have to be here. My grandmother's a baker. She made a cake for your family. That one? It tastes better than it looks. Okay, my sister knows exactly what you're up to. All right, buzz, publicity, this whole thing. Just, no. Don't 
promise I'm insulted. I would never do such a okay, thing. Okay, go. Get out of here. I will cover for you. Go out the back door. Oh, you're looking out for me. You are making it very hard for me to leave. It looks like everybody has champagne, so I'd like to propose another toast to the newlyweds, Nicole and Sunday. You know, when we first heard about it, Steffi and I were excited to get a new cousin, but when Uncle Tony and Aunt Kristen came home with you, Sunday, we knew we were going to have a friend for life. Thank you. <laughs> no, seriously, trust me when I tell you that he was miserable without you. You are all he ever talked about. So, <laughs> on behalf of all of his friends, thank you for marrying him, Nicole. <laughs> I'd always hoped that one day you would meet somebody who truly appreciated who you are. But, uh, Nicole, you have exceeded all of my expectations, and I'm really, truly happy to have you in our family. And I know I speak for Tony when I say this, but uh, we're ready for grandkids. <laughs> Nicole, you have a good thing here. Nourish it, protect it, and never forget this feeling as long as you live. Well, I'm not going to talk too much because <laughs> I'll get choked up. But I'm feeling proud tonight. Really proud. Proud of my girls, my wife Viv, my three daughters, my dashing sons-in-laws. <laughs> Family is everything. Love, respect, kinship. I love you both. Salute. Thank you, Mom, Dad, and everyone for all of your kindness and all of your support. It honestly means so much to us. We're all so grateful that you all shared this with us. Now, you don't have to leave or until Granddad kicks you out. <laughs> but me and my bride, we got somewhere to be. <laughs> Wait, Thomas saw you? I thought we were keeping a low profile. Yeah, I thought so too, but he asked me to leave. How rude. For my own sake, he's just trying to protect me from making a scene. But I thought making a scene was our mission, getting buzz for Spectra fashions. Yes, that is why I came here. But I just I really don't want to upset Thomas. We should go. Sally Spectra. I knew that was you. Have you, uh, have you seen Steffi anywhere? Um, no. I'm sure she's around here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing here? We brought the cake. My Grams is a virtuoso baker. The cake is finished, and so are you. I know what you're up to. You're crashing my family's wedding so you can create another scene. Why on earth would I do that? Because you're desperate for publicity. Who else would start a food fight and then post it online? You know, I'm still picking cake out of my hair. I am so sorry about that. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a klutz. <laughs> sorry. Don't worry about it. Maybe you should try picking wedding cake out of your hair.
want us to stick around? Go home to your, uh, go home to your baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for making my sister's day so special. Quinn and I were very happy to do it. Now go on, drive careful. Okay. Take Night. care. Okay. I love you, Dad. Mm -hmm. you, buddy. Just a little bit more to the left. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. <sighs> that was quick. Ah. Oh. Well, I couldn't wait to get back up on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look good up there. You look good down here. Oh, I love you. I never want to leave your side or that wall ever again. <laughs> that picture's never coming down again. Oh. I was thinking maybe I might bolt it to the plaster. What do you think? Is that too much? <clears throat> it's a little? Uh, just, I was just kidding. I know. <laughs> All is right in the world. I feel really good. Good. It was a beautiful wedding. You just have this way about you, Eric. You, you bring people together. You make them feel at ease. I felt that way every single day since we've been together. Since we got married right here in this room. Even though nobody showed up to our wedding, it was still the most memorable night of my life. I still can't believe you did all this. It's gorgeous. I wanted it to be special. Everything is unbelievable. Sandy, we're married. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're my wife. Yeah. I'm just glad that you didn't give up on me. On us. Husband and wife. That's all that matters now. That's right. We got our whole lives ahead of us. My life has changed so much since I moved here. Meeting you was the best gift of all. I fell for a loving, caring, and beautiful man. I feel so blessed. I am the blessed one. Marrying a woman like you. I am gonna cherish you. Appreciate you, respect you for the rest of our lives. I am yours forever.